Hey everybody. Hi there. Hi there. Well, I've got a shirt on. I guess you can tell what I'm going to be talking about today. Let it be. <laughs> That's right. The shirt. I've got the wrong shirt on. Oh, it's a movie theme anyway. So yeah, I'm kind of messed up on wearing the shirt, but I couldn't find my Let It Be shirt. I don't know where it is. Well, today I'm doing a little bit differently. Instead of starting the vinyl and showing that, I'm going to show Let It Be Collectibles. Yes. So I'm starting off with the Beetle Monthly. This is, I think, one of my favorite pictures of George Harrison. Isn't that great? Great picture of George. This is a Beetle Monthly magazine. For those of you that are my newer subscribers and watching these Beetle Monthly magazines are fantastic. They're from England and they've got all kinds of stuff in here about everything you ever wanted to know Beetle. And they are absolutely terrific. Beetle Brad really really likes these a lot. I won't go through every picture uh, but look at this one. Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that great? Oh yeah, that's a really good picture. I like that one a lot. That would be a terrific poster. I think that's really cool. And you get notes and you get letters and little different things in here. The stories. Oh, Billy Preston and John. I spend too much time showing these anyway. Um, because they're so neat. <laughs> yeah. Alright. And there's Yoko. Yoko starting to make these Beetle Monthly magazines, which she was never ever... It's uh, Yoko and Linda. She was never in monthly magazines, and now there she is. In the monthly magazine. Great picture of Paul that in there. Yeah, that's a great picture of Paul. Alright. And we're going with another Beetle Monthly. This is the front of this one. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pictures of Paul and Linda. This one has a lot more um, reading in this one. The other one I just showed you has a lot of uh, other pictures. This one has um, pictures as well, but it didn't seem to have as many, but it does. And I will pick out some of the highlighted pictures in here for you. That's the insert one. Okay. Uh, letters, notes, talking about different stuff. I actually talked a little bit about help there. Um, another good picture of John. Okay, spending. I I really like showing these. These are these are really a lot of fun. All right, and then later on start collecting. I'm bringing out these books uh, just to show you that uh, you can start collecting bootlegs and that has a lot of bootleg information and this one has a lot of bootleg information a lot of good stuff uh, that's that's a good book as well so I recommend both of those and then like everybody that I've seen <laughs> they've got this which is the Let It Be um, book that comes in the, the, the big box set. And mine, mine is actually, mine is in fantastic shape. Mine really is good. I know uh, Paul, fit to be tie-dyed. Hey Paul, how you doing? I know he's got this as well and saying that one of them wasn't in good shape or whatever. When this one, this one is in fantastic shape. I don't have the uh, box set. I've always had a hard time finding it. Um, I can find it out in 
online, I just don't feel like paying some wild and ridiculous crazy money for it, which it is. So I've uh, I've got the book, which I did find at my my local record store. They had it for sale, and and they have they used to have a book section in in their uh, stuff. So they used to have a book section, and this was in their book section. And I don't think they understood what this was because it was cheap. It was, I, I'm telling you cheap-wise, because I, I, I'm not going to say, but I think it was like $15 or something like that. So that's just nuts. <laughs> but anyway. Um, so this is really neat. It's got some great, great pictures, and I'm showing way too many because I'm taking too much time, but that's okay. This is fun. Um... But yeah, mine's in great shape. But someday I'll get the whole thing. I'm missing the box set. But someday I'll get the whole box set. But right now it's just so, so expensive. So I can't really afford to do it. All right, Let It Be, the DVD. This is the one I've got. This is really good. And I have a lot of footage of, D of the Let It Be. So there's Let It Be. And here's a bootleg. That's two hours long of extra footage. So there's two hours there. And this is another Beetle DVD. That's another two hours. So there's there's four hours. And here's another one which is my my stuff. There's let um I'm trying to see where it's on here. Yeah. Just let it be on there. Another DVD, there's Let It Be on there. And I've got probably close to seven or just a little over seven or eight hours worth of Let It Be stuff. Then the one I showed you, the DVD, this is the uh, information about it. They were going to release this with, I don't know how much extra footage, but this is all the paperwork. This is all the paperwork showing for Let It Be. And this is all the official head letter and the whole thing about this and discussion about it. But there's a couple, couple pages discussing about Let It Be. Um, the DVD is okay. The, the extra footage, you know, everybody's saying, well, why don't they just release the whole thing? Why don't they do that? The, the movie itself is great. It's really good, Let It Be. But a lot of the extra footage is all... A lot of it is black and white, so it's kind of boring in lots of ways. So the, here's another Beetle Monthly I'm going to show you. Close-up of John. Um, so a lot of it is Yoko and John. You know, you, Paul could be playing um, Let It Be or Get Back. You know, in the studio they're working on that. And they're, the film crew is filming Yoko and John. So they're more interested in that. And it's really boring. So a lot of the film footage is, is very, very boring. It's not that exciting. So like I said, um, there is some color stuff in the outtakes, but not a lot. Uh, a couple of years ago, they did a get back video. Um, and that was really cool with a lot of different footage, a lot of different stuff. That was really, really cool when they did that. Um, this is a neat picture, but that, that never surfaced and well, it did, they showed it on VH1 and I believe on MTV, this is the back page, MTV, I believe it ended up on that and then that was kind of the end of it. It just kind of disappeared. And then Beetle Brad, this is my picture of standing in front of the rooftop. This is the actual building itself where Let It Be was filmed. It was a rainy day, but this is my picture. This is back when film, 35 millimeter. Thank you very much. And yeah, I did a Beetle tour when I was in London. All right, and then I've got these from Japan. There's John. These are really cool figures. And these are from Japan. Yeah, look at that. See, I bet you never knew Paul and John were at my house. <laughs> <laughs> 
don't want to forget George and Ringo. There's Mr. Ringo. He's holding his drumsticks. And there's George with his guitar. There's George and Ringo at my house as well. These are neat. These just got a little bit of weight to them. Not real, real heavy, but they've got some weight to them. And they're, they're really cool. Those are from Japan. And then this is kind of rare. This is a Let It Be. This is a um, music sheet. Sheet music. <laughs> see if you're all listening. i switching my words around. So see, it's just uh, all of that. But yeah, this is, this is an original. Um, there's no pictures or anything like that. So if you play the piano, good for you. If you don't, you just get the front picture and that's it. But anyway, that's kind of cool. That's quite rare. And a Let It Be button. Paul McCartney Let It Be button. And this is a foreign magazine. That's about Let It Be. That's kind of neat. Oh, noisy! Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, this is kind of neat. This has got all kinds of articles and discussions and stuff like that. All right. And then my last collectible is really, really cool. This is extremely rare. Um, I purchased this a little while back, but this is from Virginia. And this is from a drive-in back in 1970. This is a Beatles for the window. This is an original. This isn't. This isn't a copy or anything. This is. This is an original from um, the window of the drive-in. This is. A, uh, I got a whole letter and everything from the person who was selling this, saying my parents were the ones who owned this place of the drive-in. And see if you can see the other. The other side here is a monster movie, and then there's Let It Be. So I'm trying to trying to line it up for you so but anyway that's kind of that's really kind of neat kind of rare quite rare and then up sorry about picking up the thing but up above me is my let it be poster from Mexico so ah, too much of a tilt I know so sorry I got my fingers in the way too all right everybody that's just some Let It Be collectibles. I'm just showing you for fun. So as you're listening to your vinyl, you can have fun with collectibles as well. I want to say hi to my new subscribers. Hey, everybody. Thank you for subscribing. Checks in the mail. <laughs> yeah. Sure, your check, my check. Everybody's checks in the mail. Yeah, right. So, but I want to say thank you to my new subscribers. I want to say thank you to my old subscribers. Thank you for being with me and staying with me and being a part of my Beatles stuff that I'm showing. All right, Vinyl Community. I think I'm going to wrap up there for now, but I hope you enjoyed my little trip of showing Let It Be Collectibles. All right, take care, everybody. And as I say, I am out of here. See ya. Take care.